Making no churn ice cream is one of my favorite things to do in the summer. No machine required, and you can really go for it with the mix-ins. Well, to me, nothing screams summer more than sweet, fruity Skittles. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make Skittles no churn ice cream. Mm. To start, into a saucepan, we're gonna add our water and red Skittles. Let this simmer for a few minutes until the Skittles are completely dissolved and the syrup has reduced by half. Then set this aside and repeat this step for each color. Allow your Skittles syrups to cool and then add in your corresponding Kool-Aid powder into each one until completely dissolved. Then into a stand-up mixer, we're gonna add our heavy cream and salt and whip it until soft peaks form. Divide your whipped cream evenly between all bowls of syrups and then fold this in. Then mix in your sweetened condensed milk to each bowl. Now just freeze all five flavors for about five minutes. Next, scoop your colors together into a large loaf pan Smooth it down and then freeze for at least two hours to firm. This ice cream looks so magical with all those beautiful colors. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh. I love how you can taste every single flavor of each Skittle. There's also this like really yummy tartness from the Kool-Aid. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I wasn't expecting that. It's like sweet and sour. It's smooth, it's fluffy. I love that this takes only just a couple ingredients to make, a couple hours in the freezer, and you have ice cream. That is why no-turn ice cream is so much fun. I can't wait for you guys to try this recipe. In fact, I wanna know, are you guys gonna use different flavored Skittles? Mmm, like berry, mm, or the tropical ones? Oh my gosh, well, mmm. When you do, post your photos on Instagram, use the hashtag EatTheTrend, tag me at Brandy Malloy, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Pop Sugar Food. I'll see you next time, bye.